This is how you can put both of your navigation arrows for your carousel to be on the left hand side. This is really simple. All we have over here is an image carousel, okay? You could use whatever you want to use, you know, like a testimonial as well, but it's the code that is super, super important. If I go over to the content, I have currently set it to only give me the arrows, so I don't want the arrows and dots. And what I'm going to do is create a bit of a gap over here, because at the moment, the image, the, the furthest left image is quite close to the left chevron. So again, clicking on the image carousel, I'm gonna to go to the advanced tab and where it says left for the margin, I'm actually gonna change that to be about 200. Now, you're probably wondering why have I made such a gap there? Again, this is down to the request that someone was making uh, on one of the forums. Now then, let's go and drop in a bit of CSS. So we got the left chevron and we have the right chevron, which is just over here, slightly out of view. Now, before we do that, let's just make sure our container has a set size. I've gone in and it's a boxed width of 1000. The 1000 is actually quite key because it's going to determine what you now do with the right hand side chevron. Now let's go over to back into the carousel, go to the advanced tab, scroll down until you get to custom CSS and drop in this little bit of code which will be in the video description. Let's now understand the code. I've actually touched the left chevron as well and I've made it be absolute. Look at the left chevron when I remove this bit of code here. Did you see it moved up a bit? So now by making it absolute, I can now actually control how it sits. For the right chevron, again, I've gone for with position absolute, but I've now said right 930. If I had set this to be, say, right 90, look at the position of it. I'm taking it from the right hand side, which is over there, and I'm moving it towards the left. Let's pop that back to what I had. And does this basically work? That is how easy it was. Now I haven't added in a class name to my carousel, which I would probably recommend you do. Otherwise this will probably replicate across your website. So if we were gonna call our carousel Jimmy, you would then put the words dot Jimmy, then you'd have the rest of the code in. But how does this look on an actual website? Well look, there's our carousel, and I now have my navigation buttons on the left and right. And you could now drop in some further text or however you want to do your layout if you're using a Flexbox container. But this is how you can be a little bit creative on getting your navigation chevrons to kind of be on the left hand side or even on the right hand side. Hey, I'm Imran Web Squad, and I hope you like, subscribe, share, and follow. I'll see you soon. Never break, always fight, never quit, do it right, play the game, win it life, have no shame, there's no time, feel the pain, let the grind, I could change, in my mind, pick a lane, commit and climb, the only way, to win it life, I never miss that stack.